Well, good day, folks. Today we're looking at a game that was sent to me by the devs for free. Disclaimer out of the way, it's called Your Spaceport. Now, it's a very, very cheap game. Let me look on Steam real quick and we'll see how much it runs. All right, this game is only about six to seven dollars, depending on Steam sales and all that fun stuff. Uh, I've played a little bit, probably about a good couple hours total, and I think I have an informed opinion about it. Overall, this game is basically a space station management game where you build turrets, you actually shoot stuff to defend your, your station against pirate raids and stuff like that, but it's mainly about the economy of making money. You're there to sell fuel and other goods. However, there's some quality of life stuff that this game could use, but we'll go over that later. Do I think it's worth your money? If you want something that you can kind of run on the second screen and just kind of check in on every once in a while, this is probably a good one for that. However, the pace moves a little fast on the trades and stuff, so pretty low threat overall. Something you can kind of run in the background. But hey, let's jump into a new game and I'll run through some stuff real quick. I'm going to skip the tutorial. So you've got your station health here. You have to manufacture some of these repair packs and they take alloys and you know puts a repair pack that'll heal 150 on this. Your shields recharge over time. They can get knocked out, but they take a little bit to recharge too. You can fabricate all this stuff in manufacturing. You have a tech tree here that you knock out. Um, yeah, I mean, you have the different tech trees to walk through, just slowly upgrading your stuff, mainly getting like passive production of spare parts and stuff like that. But also you can get a shipyard so you can start building ships for people. But you also need to learn how to make turrets. You can buy them too, but you can also make them, fabricate them. So the idea here, let me pause it, P is for pause, I've got $3,000. Here we got to buy fuel from the different factions out there. You can buy them from the pirates, but right now my relations with them are terrible, so we are not going to do that. We'll go for whoever has the best, best relationship, right? We already have a bunch of that. We're selling it out to everybody else, remember? That's not something we need for production right out the gate. If we look at relations, pirates hate us because they hate us. <laughs> And then uh, we have the Squawkoi Corporation, the Waz <laughs> Bazice. I don't know, that sounds very uh, Polish or something. Uh, but we have all these guys, right? And these guys are the essentially the police. These are just other corporations, but the, the guard are the police, and they'll come help you against pirates. We'll go over that later. Um, utility, this is where we can set our prices for fuel and repair. Obviously, if you have terrible prices, it's going to be not cost effective for you to buy fuel for. Obviously, you have to set your fuel higher than what you're buying it for, right? Or fabricating it for. I'm sure if you manufacture your own, it's a lot cheaper. And repairs, uh, I don't really know. I think if you go into the yellow, that means you're charging a little too much. I'm not really sure on that, though. I'm leaving it at default. Market info. This is where you can get all the info on pricing. A lot of events will happen and change the value of these items, right? Right now, the market's paying $12 for fuel, right? If I'm charging a little bit more, I'm charging more than the competition. We can see this eventually on a nice line graph. This is where I think there's a big thing that could be changed, kind of consolidating stuff and giving you more charts to look at. Like if it's a economy manager, you would think this is where all the information on spreadsheets and stuff would come up. That part, I think, needs a little more development. But maybe I don't know enough. <laughs> I don't know. I don't tend to play spreadsheet simulators as much as most people. Um, but all the stuff will change. You get alien meat and stuff. Organs. Yeah. They're organic. Trust me. Uh, look at our inventory. We have small turrets. Now let's place these. I'm going to put one here. No. No, I'm not, apparently. Okay, apparently I'm not. I get a load ammo, so you gotta buy basic munitions. Right click it to load it up here. There's your ammo and there's your, uh, I think that's repair kits or something, right? What is that? I think that's your spare parts that you need for maintaining your station. So we're in a rundown station to start. I'm gonna unpause it. You can only go on one speed, but even that it's pretty fast. You'll see as these ships come in, right? You can look at your not the market, sorry. This market. If you unpause it, you'll see they'll come in. 
and stuff will be available. And you can see the price. Light Armor, 175. If we go to market info and we look at Light Armor, 175. So it's going for market value with that guy. That's not a great deal. I think. <laughs> that's, that's my general idea. Um, I don't really want Light Armor, but I want alloys and stuff so I can start really producing things and get my health up. Ah, the consumption is increasing and pushing up prices with it for large plasma turrets. We're nowhere near having those. <laughs> Ooh, more ammo in the market. Heavy armor. Now, some of the stuff you can buy to speed up things. Now, I like buying these small turret modules so I can make my own turrets and sell them, right? There we go. Thank you. I'm going to buy all your munitions. Thank you very much. I don't need the other stuff. Now, you could buy high and, or buy high and so low. Yeah, this is uh, just like Wall Street bets, right? But really, you want to buy low and sell high. So you could hold on to stuff if you've got room. But I think in the basic inventory, you only have slots for 16 different types of items. Now, I'm loading up all my ammo, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get to researching. Uh, actually, let's make some repair packs. Then we'll go to research. And we will learn how to make small turrets. Okay, we are unpausing. We're continuing. Did we finish making that? Yeah, that repaired part of our hull down there. Kind of cool. We're going to make some spare parts too. Good work, fellas. Uh, let's watch the market. Uh, P. We can get more small turret modules. We can get light droids and large turret modules. Ooh, yeah, I need focus crystals. Ooh, give me the common ore. Yeah, all that. I need that for fabricating stuff, so I'm buying all that stuff up as we go. I don't know if I need rare chemicals yet. I'll hold off on that. We want to hire the Inifu Marketing Agency to improve our business relationship with local traders. So you can use this as a relationship bump for a price. If you've got the money, you spend it. There's no reason not to, really, as far as I can tell. My droids don't really need them. Ooh, more focusing crystals. I'll need those to make lasers, I believe. Simple chemicals. Yeah, thank you very much. How are we doing on this? Looks like that is done great. Let's go here and we're going to start working on repair specialist. Yeah, this way we actually like repair ships as they come in. Let's see, can I place my turrets now? There we go. We'll get one there. We'll get one there. Boom. Done. What can I make? Wires. Marketing campaign was a success. Now, if you look at our relations, we should have gone up a little bit. Oh, my God. Okay, fine. Keep boosting my relationships, please. Now, right now, we only have these. We'll get attacked eventually. Don't worry. It's going to happen. Market's got ammunition. Ooh. What do we have here? Heavy droids, common ore. Yep, give me all that common ore. All of it. We got telecorn. <laughs> I mean, grains. Um, yeah, stuff just keeps coming in and out. Now, you really got to watch this, right? And pause frequently. Because this stuff flows in and out as soon as these ships leave. I can see some potentially very fun game loops if you're really into watching numbers and playing the market, so to speak. Oh, look at all that common ore. Yeah, it's still cheap, so I'm buying it. I'm stocking up because I need to manufacture a lot of crap. Now what you can do is just queue them up by holding control and queue up more. Or what you can do is set it to automatically manufacture, right? And it'll just continually make them. I can make some small laser turrets. Apparently, let's make one. See if we can place it. I don't know if I always can. Let's go to the inventory. Let's place this sucker. No, we're not going to. I can't. <laughs> okay, maybe I need to research it first. It wouldn't let me do that before either. I don't know. I only have a couple hours in the game, so don't blame me too much. Boom, boom. Let's get more repair packs going. Uh, yep, yeah, I'll take some more of these we'll get 10 wires going oh pirates all right well they'll come in eventually 
and then we get to go pew pew. Okay, there they are. You actually have to click to fire. I think you can get auto firing stuff. You see my shields are slowly going down. We've got friendlies coming in to help. Come on, another one down, good. Pew, I hit a friendly back there, whoops. <laughs> good thing your shields are up, buddy. When you go into combat mode, you actually have to hit C to fire the turrets. And if you go into that, nothing can come in. Okay, coming out of combat mode. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and buy fuel from... Yeah, we'll buy from the those dudes. Let's do left shift. We'll buy 100. Double that. Stock up, man. So they're going to deliver it in one minute. We'll bump up our fuel supplies and be able to sell fuel a lot more efficiently. Trying to get more money, man. Trying to research things. What else can we get? Yeah, we need fuel production. So right now we're not doing anything. I need to make a little bit of money to do this. Oh, the military is refreshing its inventory, which has flooded the market with cheap last generation military hardware as a result. So all this stuff goes down in price. I mean, that's good if I'm buying, bad if I'm selling. There we go. Now we got the fuel. Now we can afford to get that going. We can get our own production going. This is good because you can start building ships. Yeah. Marketing campaign was a success. Make down to one speed. We're getting some of our hull back slowly and surely. The extraction of a giant alien nest spanning more than 55% of Aeocalid's surface has begun dropping the meat prices. Okay. No alien larva or alien meats. Now, if you want to stockpile them now and hold on to them, eventually they'll probably go up, right? You can play the market. The number of new asteroid belts is getting smaller and smaller, which pushed the prices of raw resources up. So now I can sell all my raw resources that I stockpiled for a, a pretty good margin, right? How much, though? Now I need to middle mouse split this. We'll sell half of them. And theoretically, that made me a good amount of money, right? Theoretically. Not, not a huge margin, because they're really not worth much anyways. Let's buy some more fuel. Oh, so fuel is going up, isn't it? Oh, no, that's my relationship. Okay. Oh, no, that is price. Ooh, the price, like, doubled. Good, relationships are better. Didn't matter. Pirates. Okay, we'll deal with that. Come on, friends. I need your help. Thank you. He's going to deal with a few raids every once in a while. The shields hold. You're good to go. I could probably jack this up. Um, a moon in orbit of Nospiria has successfully been cracked, triggering a new mining boom. The increased mining activity has led to the prices of raw materials falling. Okay. That's good. So that, that boon was not very long-lived, but I did make money on selling my stuff. I'm going to drop my repair cost a little bit. There we go. I can jump up my fuel cost. Marking campaign was a success. Let's jack up the fuel prices to yellow. <laughs> I need to make money, man. Okay. Um, I'm going to buy that much. Oh, more pirates. Dirty pirate scum. Get them. Oh, my lord. That's big. Get him, dudes! His shields are down. Oh, thanks for the marketing campaign success. I appreciate you. Oh, no! Are we gonna live? Oh, can they help me? Oh, my God. We almost died there. Wow. That escalated quickly. We need to get on research a little bit faster, don't we? <laughs> oh, my lanta. Okay, I'm working it. We're making a lot of money from fuel, though. Especially since we're starting to do that. Oh, the demand for spaceships is on the rise. This has led to the prices of commodities used in ship construction soar. Oof. Gotta get better at manufacturing, man. Alright, let's start working on 
these. I think I need to start working. Oh, military has been keeping an eye on a comet. Ice blocks are cheaper. Okay. Fuel production, oh, 18,000. That's expensive. Now you can upgrade your station to the next level. Unfortunately, the marketing campaign failed. Oh, so it can fail. I didn't know that. Good to know. The guard considered that the current repair price is too low. Since you're the only other spaceport in this sector, they suggest a joint price increase. The new price should be 8 for at least 152 Okay. So we can do price fixing. 8 it is. So all that's getting spent on repairing vessels and stuff. I need to come in here. Finally, peace. Okay, so everything's come down. Let's make some real, real inroads here, shall we? We're good on ammo. I'm not worried about that. Let's start manufacturing a bunch. Now, I wish there was a better menu for this. I, I don't know, set minimums or something. Am I going to get smoked now? Not looking good for the home team, bro, chachos. Oh, and we died. Well, you got to you gotta upgrade a little quicker and a little bit more. I don't know why I wouldn't let me put the uh, turrets on there, but I figure this is a good look at this game. It's a cheap game, so if you're looking for something cheap, and if you wait for a Steam sale, it'll probably go on sale for even cheaper, you could probably have a couple hours of fun out of this. And I'm sure the game will develop over time. But that's really my general issue is like the the ui could be more towards the production aspect it could use a little bit of work it's very bare bones now i think you have production you could have better market tracking i think the ships when they dock in your port should probably stay there for a little bit longer so you have a little more time to react but maybe that's by design i don't know i don't know and eventually if you're mul managing multiple stations that are more of a strategic layer than just your one station i don't know but maybe that's what you get for this price of game. I don't really know. That's for you to judge, though. If you think this is an interesting game, by all means, pick it up. If you really want to see me play more, maybe I'll do a small series on it. But hey, thanks for joining me, folks. Take it easy, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.